All right, welcome back, y'all, fellas, ladies, and gentlemen. You're now tuning in with another episode with TC. Now, today we're getting into a good um, episode. I think this is a good video to react to because it shows how the modern women think. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against them. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs to have their fun and live their life. But these are the same, some of the same women that say they want marriage. And, you know, I'm just here to show you guys what we're dealing with. That Raheem dude I reacted to earlier, this will be a perfect video for him to watch. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it'll show why some men have to accept the red pill. And after this video, we're also going to go into a video that I've seen. Um another video on this channel that I had seen about uh, the girl Zena from Fresh, Fresh and Fit. She exposed some very telling uh, things about some of these red pill guys that you guys look up to, um, Sneeko and, and Myron to be specific. So y'all stay tuned for that. We're going to get into it. It's hashtag Corey with me up. <laughs> that nigga made sure he got a piece of that ass, you know what I mean? Hey, Slick. What's good? What's good? What's your name? Georgia Milano. Georgia? Georgia. Where are you from? Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. Uh, what's your name, real quick? Question. I'm Naughty. Please. Hey, real quick. Question of the night. What's the longest y'all ever made a guy wait to hook up with? What'd he say? <laughs> what's the longest you ever made a guy wait to hook up with him? Honestly, like a solid three months. Three months? Whoa. Why'd you make him wait? Man, look, these girls be proving what we all be talking about, brother. The girl gonna make the good guys wait, man. I'm telling you. Raheem, this is for you, brother. You know what I mean? The girls gonna always make the good guys wait. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. The longest that a girl has made me wait is one day. No cap in my rap. The longest a girl has ever made me wait is one day. Uno, dos, tres. You know what I'm saying? And... I ain't even gonna get into the situation that happened, but yeah, man, the longest a girl in boy is one, one day. I'm trying to think, cause maybe it was, maybe I had one where it was longer. In my adult life, the longest a girl ever made me wait was one day, for real. Um, cause most times it's easy to get cheeks on the first night. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> You're like a V or something? No. Are you a V? All right, all right. So, what's the fastest? Like a minute. Damn. Back. Guys, I'm going to interview my friends. This is Eden, Alex, Gabby. All right, all right. What's the longest you've ever made a guy wait? <laughs> like three years? Bruh. You bitch, it's <laughs> over. <laughs> Like, a month. A month is correct. Bro, and this is what you guys are saying. Don't be the bad, be the good guy. Bro, This look at this girl, bro. No pun intended, bro. Like, come on, bro. She making a nigga wait a month. <laughs> you making somebody wait a month, bro. <laughs> Shout out to like finding Nemo making niggas wait up. Well, uh, make that niggas wait up. Uh, oh, I'm telling you, when a girl is sexually attracted to you, she gonna throw that pussy on the first night. One thousand percent. These girls don't be giving a fuck because a one night stand can turn into a relationship, a long one at that. So never forget that. Don't be listening to these Raheem niggas, man. Live your life, especially if you young, bro. Live your life because these they throwing the pussy. Why not take it? Long as she clean. So they're gonna throw it. They, they throwing it. Look at them. You seen what the girl said in the last clip? The fastest she gave it up, a minute. She was not bullshitting. They know. Off rip. And they want to throw that shit. You feel me? Crazy. <laughs> Wait for what? Because if it's sex, like, um, I don't know. My boo. Like, my like hooking up. Um, currently I'm in one and it's been like four or five months. What? It's um. his choice, not mine. Wow. Alright, a question of the night real quick. Uh, what's the longest you ever made a guy wait to hook up with? Huh? What's the longest you ever oh. made a guy wait? Uh, 
Four months? Five months? It's a long time. What? what about what's the fastest? The night. A hug. The night. So, why does one guy have to wait four to five so months? That's what gets me mad. Is that, yeah, yeah. like, everything about... It's all one-sided. A guy can do whatever the fuck they want to do, but a girl... Nope, it's shot. Like, no, I'm not a whore. I can... I, I'm a dog. I can be a big one. Like, right, right, right. no, I know how to bark. Okay, no, I just want to know, like, what goes in... You can tell she's a whore. Because what she just said was not even... Uh, answer to the question he was gonna ask. He was just gonna ask her why one guy get it fast and the other guy don't. And she told, I'm not a whore. I can bark. Bitch, you're not a fucking dog. You're a cat. <laughs> Open them fucking legs up. Into the difference, like what makes what makes the you way, choose? Uh, the way a man treats a woman is completely different. Like if you, you know, daddy issues, shit like that. What? You know what I mean? Okay. So. A minute, how about you? That like, bitch was... like, why you make one guy wait like three months and then one guy could get it faster? Because it depends what I want. If I actually like the guy and I want some with him, then I'm going to wait. So the guy that waits longer, is it because you ain't, you wasn't feeling him? After? This just proves that when a woman sees you as the boyfriend as or the husband option, she is going to, she's going to put you in that zone. She's going to put you in that all right, I want him to think that I'm a good girl. Listen, friends and family, there's no such thing as a good girl. When a woman likes you, she is going to throw that ass in a circle. You know what I'm saying? She is going to pop that pussy. Now, as much? No, no, you're feeling opposite. him more. Yeah. yeah. So when you like a guy more, you make him yeah, wait longer. Yeah. Why? What's the logic behind that? Because I want him to know it's special. Yeah. Y'all hear it? So the, the, the guy who you don't care about. Bro, listen to these women logic. <laughs> listen to their logic. The guy who she really likes, she wants him to think. Because these women logic set you up to fail in a marriage and relationship. The guy who she really care about, she want to make him feel like he's special. But the nigga who she don't care about, he can slut her out, nut on her face, slap her ass, pull her hair, and that's the one who's going to leave an impression on her. Why, the good guy waiting, by the time he getting the pussy, babe, can I eat your pussy? I want him to think it's special. She's going to be thinking about the nigga who was slutting her motherfucking ass out that she didn't like. See, it's the difference between who you really like or who you know can dig that pussy out the right way. Just so you niggas know, I always tell y'all, a woman is always going to remember who slutted her out, but you ain't going to always be that that man who could put it down on every woman. I have a few women in my life currently who I put that shit down. But at the end of the day, what I will say is even if you do put it down and you are the best sex that she had, at the end of the day, some women, they still want that boyfriend. So if you're not going to give them commitment, they will leave your ass or they will stop fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? And that's 100 percent a fact. Who is your celebrity crush? Dylan O'Brien! Oh yeah. Chad Michael Murray. I don't know who that is. Oh my god. Harry Styles or Michael B. Jordan? Ugh. Michael B. Jordan is it. Hey, hey, can I video them? Who is your celebrity crush? Ice Spice, what can you tell me? Ice Spice is sexy. Reagan. Who is your celebrity crush? Mine is Michael B. Jordan or or Zach Bryan. If you could, if you could try. See, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, all of these girls want the dick in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? This is a clear example. They all want dick in their mouth. I love you, bro. If lives with a celebrity for one day, who would it be? I I like Margo Robbie. Cause she's when was the last time you had sex? Last time I had sex was two weeks ago. Fire! Fire. Hey, what is your what is a toxic trait that you like in a man? When they like blow my phone up, because it gets me aggravated. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, like he's interested. For for hooking up, do you think it's 
Do you think it's better to hook up with a guy that's toxic or that's just like a good guy, like a good boy? Toxic. Why, I mean, why? What did I tell y'all, bro? They want toxic dick in that pussy, bro. They want toxic dick in that mouth, bro. You need to be able to tell a woman to shut the fuck up. Because, look, if you could put a woman in her place, like, picture there's two men. The man who's nice to her all the time and the man who puts her in her place tells her to shut the fuck up. The one who tells her to shut the fuck up is going to be the one that's grabbing her fucking dick. You feel me? Fucking her in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Putting her fucking head on the fucking headboard and fucking her mouth. Literally on top of her face type shit. You're going to be fucking grabbing her neck, shoving her ass down while y'all fucking. You're going to be doing all of that and she's going to remember that for the rest of her life. The good, the goody, goody two shoes. He not doing none of that. You're going to get on top. You're going to do a few strokes and then you're going to turn into P. Diddy. Bro, <laughs> like, because you don't know what you're doing. Bro, I'm right with you right now. Go ahead. Tell me why. Because it's easy. Like, it's just easy. Like, it's just easy. It's more enjoyable. It's more fun. It's, it's fun. If, if I'm going to talk to you of, of, like, I'm an eater, okay. Yeah. If I'm going to be a girl's girl, fuck yeah. I'll have a time. I'll have a ball. I don't want to fall in love with anybody right now because I don't think anybody like deserves that part of me because nobody's been that raw. Like I can't be equally like that with somebody. If they're not going to be that honest with me, then why the fuck would I be so open with you? Like I'm not going to give you my all if you're not going to reciprocate that shit. Like that's crazy. Are you are you looking to settle down right now or are you just kind of just enjoying life? If, like this whole conversation is videoed. I have a boyfriend right now. Are we fucking kidding, bro? Oh! Look at Cub's face, bro. <laughs> 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 He's like texting me, like, no, I'm being for real, for real. Like, I have a boyfriend. And it's just. Shout him I, out, go ahead, shout him out. Yeah. Shout out to the boyfriend. I, I, he's lied to me about everything. And this is crazy. Oh my god, I can't, like, I'm being, it's spring break, right? What stays here? Ha lied to me about a car, where he worked, <coughs> drugs. I found a fucking Perk 30 on my floor Bruh. two weeks ago. How you know it's a 30, though? How you know it's a 30? I, my mom, addict, this, that, and the third, whatever. I don't like to talk, because, you know, one of those something I love him as a person. Fuck the boyfriend. This, that, and the third. I love him as a human, and it's just he's done me so wrong, but I care about him so deeply. Last thing, I'll let you go. If you could say one thing to your boyfriend right now, what would you say? I don't understand what you like are doing, bro. I love you. Hey, we don't know what you're doing, dog. Like I don't know what you're doing. Like we don't know. I got no clue. You want to shout out your Instagram? Oh, it's Georgia Reese Milano. Georgia like the state, Reese pronounced like the candy, but with an S, and Milano like the Pepperidge Farm cookie. All right, off the record real quick before you go. If you meet a guy that's just fired tonight, you leaving your boyfriend? Yes. You never know. Yes. You heard that? He will never know. He will never know! That's why the red pill exists. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. We ain't gonna just skip past that. Look at his face again. <laughs> Bro, hold on. Listen to this. Listen to this loud and clear, nigga. Here you go. If you meet a guy that's just fired tonight, you leaving your boyfriend? Yes. Listen to the whole friend. Yes. This is why you cannot have a girl with whole friends. They always gonna convince them to do some whole ass shit, bro. This is why you cannot be nice when you gotta slut their ass out and send them on their way. My way or the highway, take your ass to the streets, cause you ain't gonna never meet another nigga like me. You'd never know. Yes. The homegirl. No, because it's fucking spring break, motherfucker. The homegirls don't lie. Hey, if you wanna hear the truth, ask the homegirl. I'm just too comfortable with him. Like, what that's if? just it. I'm used to it. I'm but if she it. finds a man, she's going home with somebody else. You can't trust this shit. You not mine, you cold. And there you have it, folks. Damn, that bit bad right now. We might have to. Ooh, 
There you have it right there, folks. You cannot trust these hoes. And y'all, all of you women who watch my channel, bro, check this out. The, and don't say it's these white girls, they young. It's you too, bitch. No, I'm just playing. It's not you too. I'm just saying. It's, it's these hoes, man. That's why we teach men to accept the red pill, man, because you're going to have a more fulfilled life once you do it. You're not going to get attached to a woman. You're not going to get attached to no outcome. You're just going to be living your life and having fun, just like these women out here. You feel me? Ever since I accepted the red pill, my life got so much better, man. Like, I just be chilling. Like, it almost felt like I'm 19 again. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out here jigging them. You know what I mean? Life is good. You know what I'm saying? We live in life, man. But, man, it be like that, man. Look, but that's, we ain't even going to get into that sneak old one because I, uh, I don't even want to get into that right now. We're not even going to get into that. But look, man, that's the end of this video. Make sure y'all boys like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my next video drop. And we're going to be out, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoying the videos that I'm dropping on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all the support, all the likes. And for you men, always remember, man, videos like this are the reason that the red pill exists. These women in this video will eventually be somebody's wife possibly or will eventually be somebody's mom somebody's baby mom and at the end of the day somebody's character never changes so these women who are about to be somebody's wives the ones who say he will never know that will be a woman's uh she'll be somebody's wife one day and her best friend will still be around saying your husband will never know so put that in your pipe and smoke it and like this video and i hope y'all enjoyed it we're gonna be gone man. we got more to react to so y'all stay tuned man